Why do iPhones cost so much? Is Apple really ripping us off? Or is there more to the story? Today, we're breaking down the real reasons behind Apple's premium prices. The hidden costs, the brand strategy, and the psychology that makes us pay. And trust me, by the end of this, you'll never look at an iPhone the same way again. Hit like, subscribe, and let's dive in. First up, let's talk about the gap between the cost to make an iPhone and its retail price. Teardown reports show that the components and assembly for a new iPhone are just a fraction of what you pay at the store. For example, a phone that costs over a thousand dollars might only cost a few hundred to build. But before you get angry, that difference isn't pure profit. Apple has to pay for logistics, shipping, warranties, and all the research and development that goes into creating that device in the first place. And that brings us to the software and services. You're not just buying a slab of glass and metal. You're buying into a whole ecosystem. That means iOS, regular software updates for years, iCloud, the App Store, and more. Apple invests billions every single quarter in R&D. To keep all of this running smoothly, that ongoing investment in the user experience is a huge part of what you're paying for. Of course, the brand itself is a massive factor. Apple has spent decades building a reputation for premium design, quality control, and an effortless user experience. From their iconic minimalist ads to the clean, bright layout of the Apple stores, everything is designed to make you feel like you're buying something special. People aren't just buying a phone. They're often buying status, simplicity, and the security of a product that holds its value surprisingly well. Apple also controls almost everything, from its custom chips and hardware design to the operating system and retail stores. This vertical integration gives them total control over the experience and the price. However, it also means they take on huge risks. Things like global tariffs or supply chain disruptions can add significant costs, and Apple has to decide whether to absorb that hit or pass it on to us. The consumers, so, are iPhones too expensive? Well, it's not that simple. Apple has chosen a premium strategy built on design, a powerful ecosystem, and strong brand value. If those things are worth it to you, then the price might just make sense. What do you think? Are iPhones worth the money? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives.